I did. You know what I have here on the table today? A little box that's filled with dirt, and there are all sorts of plants growing out of it. See them all along in here? Well, do you remember the other day when we put the dirt in this box and we planted the seeds? We put the little markers down here at the end with the little seed packages on them so that we re would remember just what it was planted in each row. Well, just look at how these little plants have grown up from those little seeds. This row right over here is radishes. And this row over here, right along here, these are flower plants and they're zinnias but they're a lot smaller than the radishes, aren't they? See how tall the radishes are? And the flowers, the zinnias, are a little bit shorter. They're about that much shorter. And one of the reasons that they're not quite as big and tall yet as the radishes is because the zinnias took a day longer before the little shoots came up through the ground. They didn't start to grow as soon as the radishes did. And there's another reason, too. The other day, I took a piece of paper and I completely covered the row of flowers. I covered up all the zinnias, just like that. And with this piece of paper over them, no light could get to them. And you know, we talked about some of the things that plants and flowers needed to grow. And one of those things was light, wasn't it? Do you remember what the rest of them were? They needed light and they needed dirt so that they could get minerals from the soil and they needed water to grow and they needed air and when I put this piece of paper over this row of zinnias it cut out all the light and they just didn't grow as fast and something else happened to them too you can't see it very well but all the radishes over here are very dark green all the leaves are green and perhaps if you look very carefully here at Venus, you'll notice that they look a little bit whiter and lighter than the other plants do. Do you know why that is? Well, plants need sunlight to make them nice and green and healthy looking. And because all the sun was taken away from this row right over here, didn't get that light, did it? The sun didn't get to them, and so they didn't turn a nice, pretty color of green. Instead, there are places right here on some of the leaves that are yellow. And that's what happens to flowers if they're in the dark all the time. Maybe your mother has a plant that she would let you take. And you could put it maybe in a paper sack and then set it in the closet somewhere. Of course, you have to remember to keep watering them. But still, if you leave it in the dark for two or three, maybe even four days, and take it out and look at it, all the leaves, instead of being a pretty dark color of green, will be all yellow. Well, now let's look at some other things here. Did you notice? Wait, let me turn this back. You notice how all these little plants here are leaning over this way? Do you know why that is? That has something to do with light, too. If your mom has some flowers in the house sitting along the windowsills and things, you take a look at them and see which way their leaves are pointing. I think probably that you'll find that all the leaves and the plants that would be sitting in a windowsill would be pointing right out the window. And that's because they're trying to get at the light. And when this box here was in the house, the closest window was right over here on this side of the box, right here where my hand is all doubled up. And that's where the sun came in, right over here. And these little plants wanted to get as much sunlight as they possibly could so they all leaned way over here, just reaching for the light just as hard as they could. So that's another thing that you can check on your plants that are growing in the house. Well, now let's go back and talk about this first row right here of radishes. Remember how what the little seed looked like when we, before we planted them? It was just very tiny, wasn't it? About the size of a pinhead. If you, do you remember what they looked like? They were round. And then when we planted them, look what happened. They sprouted out of the ground, and they grew, and they grew, and they grew, and now they're getting little tiny leaves on them. And pretty soon, these leaves will begin to grow, too. But what happens to a radish if we let grow and grow and grow? It grows up like this, and the little leaves come out, 
and they get bigger and bigger, and pretty soon the top of the plant, the part that we can see, will stop growing, well not altogether, but it won't get any taller. And then the rest of the growing goes on down in here, inside the box or down in the ground. The roots work their way down into the ground just like this, and they spread out because they're looking for the water. And that's where they get the water. The water goes right up all these roots that are down here in the bottom of the box. And with a radish, well, you know what happens. Here are some radish plants here that are full grown. And I'll show them to you. The leaves are the parts that we would see growing above the ground. Now, of course, these leaves right here look just like this. And they're great big ones now, aren't they? And I'll pick off a leaf of the of the radish that's growing and lay it right here beside it. And you can look and see how small that one is. It has a long way to grow yet, doesn't it? But it will get there pretty soon. And then the roots will be growing too. And here is what will happen after a while to the roots of the radish plant. That's where the radish comes, right at the base of the stems. And it grows and it gets all red and they start out being very little too here's a little tiny one right here see how tiny this is this is the way the radish first starts out it's red right here right between where my fingers are it's red from here down to here and then there are some roots on the end of the radish too and pretty soon it'll grow and it'll grow and then it'll be that big right there from this one to that one, and it'll get a little bigger. It goes right up to that side. And if we would let them keep right on growing, we would get a great big radish that looked like that one right there. Isn't that a great big one? You know, you probably be having radishes for supper some night, and you just take a look at them. Now, there's a root right here. It doesn't stop, you know. Just because the radish is growing, the roots don't stop because the roots still have to feed the plant. And look what a long root is on the end of this radish right here. See how long it is? I'll put it down here on the table so we can see that it's oh so very long. And there's a lot of little tiny roots that are coming out from this great big main taproot that goes way down. It keeps getting thinner and thinner and thinner. Isn't that funny? You know, before we eat them, though, we usually cut off the tops right up here. We cut this part off, and we cut off the root part, too, because we don't eat that. And then they're very good to eat. But, you know, if you have a garden with radishes growing in it, you go out and help your mom pull up the radishes. You should remember that we don't want to eat them then. You should take them in the house and wash them off with water so that we won't get all sorts of dirty things into our mouths. But looking at these radishes and seeing how big they are, it makes us wonder if each one of these is a little plant in here. Here, I'll show you one. Here is a radish plant just beginning, and pretty soon it'll have a radish on the end of it just like that. Well now, do you think there would be room for all these radishes in this box here? We planted a lot of seeds, didn't we? And I think all of them grew. And so you know what we're going to have to do now? Since there won't be room for all these little plants in here when they get bigger and start, radishes start growing at the end of the root, there won't be room for all those radishes, so we're going to have to pull some of them up and thin them out. So let's do that right now. Let's pull them up, and perhaps we can take a look at the plant as we pull it. I'm gonna wash the dirt off of this one right here. And we'll just see if we can see the roots of this little tiny radish plant. Right now, they haven't gone very far down into the ground. But as they grow bigger, they'll go down farther. Right there now, if you look very carefully, you see this one little hair that's coming off here on the end? Right there, that little tiny white hair. That's the beginning of one of the smaller roots that grows off the big one. Let's see if we can't find another one that has longer roots on it. Oh, here's one with a great big long root. This little plant's just sunk its roots way 
down into the soil and I'm going to try and wash some of the dirt off here because with the dirt on the little plant it's hard to see it isn't it so come on dirt get off here I'm going to take a look at the root here there this is where it started to grow underground only this much of this little plant grew up ground that great big wide white space there and all the rest of it grew way down into the box that went a long way down didn't it so if it keeps growing like that well in no time it'll be way down deep in the soil so it will have plenty of water and while we're thinning these out we have to remember about the size that the radishes will get to be so we're going to have to pull a lot of them up and I'm just going to pull them out and I'll lay them over here and then if I can either take them outdoors and plant them again or I'll just have to throw them away now I'm going to leave this little plant right over here and I'm going to leave some room around it and then I'm going to separate them here and leave another one and I'm going to pull out all the rest that are growing around there so that there will be plenty of room around the little rash. These are some things that we have to do even in an outdoor garden. Sometimes we plant the seeds too close together so we have to go out and we have to decide how far apart they should be and usually on the back of the package that you got the seed in it will tell you how far apart these little plants are supposed to be. And this is about an inch apart. So be very careful. I'm going to leave plenty of room between them. Pull the rest of them right up. Shake the dirt off the roots and, and pack it back down around the rest of the plant. And sometimes they'll fall over like this one here. So I'll push it down in there. Push all the dirt up around it. There. And it leans over now, but in a couple of days it'll be growing right straight up again. Have to pull these out here. See how we're thinning them out? Here's some more can come out from here. And you know, when you pull them up, see how much dirt hangs onto the end of the plant? That's because all the little roots go out and they hold this dirt together. See, we can't go through the whole row today. Really thin them out. There's not nearly as many now there will be four of it. I'm leaving enough in there and I hope that if I keep watering them and give them enough sunlight and be sure that the soil is all loose around these little plants that maybe later on in the summer I can eat radishes out of my own little garden. Do you suppose? My goodness, I hope so. There. Got a whole handful of them that time. I think that's about enough. I can do the rest of it later. My hands are all dirty, so I'm going to have to wash them. But let's look at this plant just before it's time to go. It's dead, isn't it? You know what happened? No water. So we want to remember to water all of our plants. Hope you've had fun watching me thin out the radishes.